All right, welcome to the Spam Build Space. I'm here with Todd Porter from Team 180, and it's about three days until bag and tag, so we're coming up right against the wire. Uh, so first off, how did your build season go? Uh, build season went well. Uh, we cut a little shorter than we wanted to. We wanted to have two weeks of driving practice, but now we're getting down to about a week, a week and a half. Uh, but look, things are looking good so far. So basically what you're saying is when you're only one week ahead of bag and tag, you're behind schedule. Uh, for us, yes, because uh, based on our past history, two weeks of drive practice is the best case scenario. Uh, it gives our drivers a lot more time to get involved with the robot, get used to it. Uh, whereas if we have only one week, that's less time for practice, which means they need to get uh, better equipped with the robot uh, at the competition. Well, that makes sense. Um, so when you first got the game in January, uh, first off, what was your initial reaction to the game? What did you think of it? And what sort of the strategy that Spam you went for? What's sort of the, the idea how you want to accomplish the game? Uh, well, the first part, uh, I think it was more of a cringe attack, uh, looking pa past games where we had balls this big. Um, but after getting into the depths of the strategy with the assists, uh, we thought that was a really interesting addition. Um, the, the big thing was looking at how those are going to be scored on the tic-tac-toe grid that's available at the Alliance stations. Uh, as far as strategy goes, we talked about how to play the game. Uh, we split up into four different rooms so that it's a little bit easier to, to uh, brainstorm. And then from there, once we figured out what our objectives were, we would go from there to figure out what systems we want to focus on more. And what ended up being the, the end result there? What did you end up deciding to focus on? Um, well, looking at the game, uh, we realized that any robot can pretty much play this game. Even a robot that doesn't do anything but drive, uh, considering the fact that possession can be bumping. Uh, so we decided that an intake system would be best to work on first. If that's going to be our more complicated system, that's the one we would pick. Uh, due to the fact that an intake system allows you to acquire the ball and also release the ball for passes so you can get assists. Uh, and you can also score on the one-point goal with one. All right, so your, your first priority was the intake, and then how did it break down after that? Uh, from there, we decided that uh, it was a little bit even as far as opinions with the shooter versus a catcher. Uh, but we realized if it gets to that point where we have to dismiss one of the systems, that we dismiss the catcher because the shooter system would allow us for more points. All right, sounds good. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at your robot now. All right, and we're in the spam practice space at the moment. It's about three days till bag and tag. I'm here with Lily from 180. Spam, how you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. Um, okay, so you have a lovely robot back here. Walk me through a little bit of just the basics real quick. Well, what we have is a catapult robot that how we shoot also with a roller intake system with mechanum wheels and uh, wheels, names I don't. Yeah, walk, walk me through real quick why, I've seen a lot of these sort of rollers, if you want to come around here, I've seen a lot of these rollers. Why did you guys choose on the, the Omni and mechanum wheel style roller? That way we can take the ball in from any angle or any side, and it wouldn't hurt the ball or damage any of the... It's been working pretty well so far? Yes, it has for uh, just about 100% accuracy. All right, very cool. Um, so go ahead and walk John through the systems you have on your robot here. So here is our arm with the Omni and Mechanum wheels that sucks in the ball. Uh, we have the hands for our catchers, so we can catch a trash, trust shot or just from our human players. So we actually modeled out hands from one of our mentors and cut them out, which I love. <laughs> So we have pneumatics attached to those to come in and come out. Uh, for our catching system, we have two arm steel arms welded together to allow us to catapult it up. That is powered by the rubber bands here. So that's what we have. All right. Very cool. Thanks, Lily. Thank you. Back to you guys.